Hi everyone, these are the same practice problems that we did in class, but this gives you the opportunity to practice at your own pace. So what I want you to do is put the video on pause, and then when you're ready, come back, and then I'll show you if you've done the problem correctly. So this problem is uh, so, it's a sign, because from this angle we have an opposite and a hypotenuse. So you would set this up as sine 25 equals x over 10, and then we would need to multiply both sides by 10. And in your calculator, you would just do 10 sine 25. And I'm rounding all of these. If it's a side length, we're going to round to the nearest tenth. If it's an angle, we're rounding to the nearest whole angle, or the whole degree. So let's try the next one. So again, put the video on pause, work this out. When you're ready, turn it back on. This would be cosine because from this angle, we have an adjacent and a hypotenuse. And this is going to be an inverse operation. So you would set this up, cosine x equals 10 over 15, and then you would just need to do 10 divided by 15. If you were actually to do that in your calculator, it's this ratio, but you do not need to do this. So you should have just put in your calculator the inverse of cosine, and then 10 divided by 15, and to the nearest whole degree, it's 48 degrees. Let's try another one. So again, put the video on pause, and I'll see you in a minute. Welcome back. This is tangent. From this angle, we have an opposite and an adjacent. So that one is TOA. And you set it up tangent 50 equals 6 over x. And remember, if the x is on the bottom, that we can, um, we can change this diagonally or just swap this diagonally and put the x here and then the 50 on the bottom. So in your calculator, you would do 6 divided by tangent 50, and this one was x equals 5. Let's try another one. So again, put the video on pause, and I'll see you in a second. Welcome back. This is, again, tangent because we have an opposite and an adjacent. So you would set it up. Tangent 20 equals 4 over x, and this is your opposite, this is your adjacent, and again, if you have the x on the bottom, we can swap diagonally and then put the tangent 20 down here and the x on the top, and your calculator would be 4 divided by tangent 20. You should have x equals 11. Let's try another one. So again, put the video on pause. I'll see you in a minute. So this one is sine because we have an opposite and a hypotenuse. So you would set it up. Sine x equals 10 over 20. This is an inverse operation. So in your calculator, you would just do the inverse of sine and then 10 divided by 20, or you could just do 0.5, and it was x equals 30 degrees. Try this one. So this one is tangent 32 equals x over 4, so it is opposite over adjacent. And in this case, we would need to multiply both sides by 4 to get that x by itself. So in your calculator, you would just do 4 tangent 32, and x is 2.5. Try this one, and again, put the video on pause. This is cosine because we have an adjacent and a hypotenuse. So it is cosine x equals 8 over 14. And this is an inverse operation because we're looking for the angle. We've got to work backwards. And in, again, I put the ratio here in your calculator, though. You could just do 8 divided by 14, and it's 55 degrees. 
Try this one. This is sine because we have an opposite and a hypotenuse. So it would be sine 20 equals opposite over hypotenuse. And again, if the x is on the bottom, just swap diagonally over the equal sign. Remember, we can't cross cancel over the equal sign, but we can swap diagonally. So it's x equals 5 divided by sine 20. And it's x equals 14.6. Let's try another one. And again, put the video on pause. I'll see you back in just a minute. This one is tangent, and it's an inverse operation because we're looking for the angle. Tangent x equals 5 over 10. So the 5 is the opposite, the 10 is the adjacent. And in your calculator, you could just do 5 divided by 10, or 0.5, and it's 27 degrees. And that's it. If you need more practice, just start this over again and try it again. Good luck, and I'll see you in class.